Hi, first grade. In this video, I'm going to talk about your assignments for today that go along with the story, Henry and Mudge and the Starry Night. If you have not watched the first video that I posted where I read the story, make sure that you go and listen to that because these assignments go along with the story and you need to read the story or hear the story first to be able to complete the assignments. What you are going to want to have right now is your own copy of Henry and Mudge and the Starry Night because you may just need to go back and refer to this when you complete your pages. And this packet right here, Henry and Mudge and the Starry Night. And the pages that you are going to complete today are pages one, two, and three. And let me walk you through the directions on each page. Page one looks like this, and you are going to see up at the top, Henry and Mudge and the Starry Night, Chapter One, Big Bear Lake. We talked about in that video of the read aloud that this book is sectioned into three chapters, and that first chapter is Big Bear Lake. So what you are going to, the text the part of the text that you are going to use to complete this page is just that first chapter. And when you are answering these questions, they do not need to be in complete sentences. If you would like to do complete sentences, you can, but because there's a lot to write, you can just list your answers. So for example, right here where it says, what is the setting? Remember that the setting is where the story takes place. You don't have to write the setting is, you could just list out where the story takes place. It says, remember to include who, where, and when. For this, you can just list where that story is taking place, okay? You do not have to list the characters or anything for this. Just tell me where they are located in chapter one, Big Bear Lake, okay? Next right here, it says list two things Henry's mother knows about camping. So going back to that text, using text evidence and just listing two things that Henry's mother knows about camping. Right here, it says, what are Henry and Mudge hoping to see? Just list one thing that they're hoping to see. They talked about a few things they're hoping to see. Just please list one thing they are hoping to see. And then down here, it says, write and draw. How do Henry and Mudge feel about seeing a bear? Just list over there how they feel about seeing a bear and then draw a picture of either a bear or a representation of how they are feeling or how they feel. That is page one. The next page that you have to complete is page two. And for page two, it says, Henry and Mudge and the Starry Night. What do you think? Do you think Henry and Mudge like camping? And for this, you have to circle either yes or no, and then use text evidence from the story to kind of confirm or relate support what you circled. So if you circled yes, then you have to write in the boxes four things that support that. So if you said yes, you could say, well, I think they like camping because I saw them laughing on page four or they were excited about this. And in these boxes, you do not have to write complete sentences again, but you do need to write words so they can be short phrases. If you'd like to write complete sentences, that is totally fine too but just four different pieces of text evidence that support what you circled, yes or no, and that support your choice about whether we think Henry and Mudge like camping or not, okay? That is page two. And then finally, page three, make a list. It says, I can make a list of things I would pack for a camping trip. You may know these things already if you've been camping before. I've heard from some of you that you have gone camping. And if not, just think about what you might need to have on a camping trip and make bullet points. So if you remember, those bullet points are just little dots. I'm using right now a marker, but you would use a pencil. You just make a dot and then list something that you would need for a camping trip. So for example, for a camping trip, you might need a tent. So I can make a dot and then write the word tent. Okay, then I would make another bullet point and list something else. 
and try and think of at least three things that you could pack for a camping trip. If you can think of more than three things, that is amazing too. But I'm asking you to list at least three things for this assignment. And then boys and girls, you can feel free to color any of these pages. So there's stars, Henry and Mudge are on some of the pages. You see a fire here. You can absolutely color any of the pictures on these pages, but you do not have to. And then to post, you will put pages one, two, and three all on the same post. Just spread them out so I can zoom in and see all of the pages. And those are your assignments for today. All right, boys and girls, I am looking forward to seeing your completed assignments. And I hope you have a great day. Bye.